Hello, this is Ross Marquand. I'm here with Don. I want to say hi to Jimmy, Casey, Stephen from the Dead Truth Podcast. You know, like the Green Balloon Zombie, the Hungry Hungry Walker, the Billy Corgan Walker on the Talking Dead, and I was a fan. Right, right. So to be part of it, I was blessed. And I said, "Well, I'm fired now." Right. Yeah. You know? Right. And I and I went to him and I says, "Well, you know, I really appreciate it. You know, I'm, I'm guessing now that I'm dead, I'm not going to be invited back." Yeah. And right. they said, nah, over. we're just going to make you even uglier." <laughs> so then it was like a golden ticket. Because I knew every time I was coming to the set, I was going to be a hero. Oh. Because they had to make me um, yeah, the, not recognize. Right, right, right. 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 Yeah. Different, right. So we, 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 we come in from me being a freshly dead corpse looking like Billy Corgan right. Right. Yeah. to decay. And, and then you see me because I'm so tall, I'm yanking people around anytime right. I climb wow. something. Yeah. And then actually when Michonne's stuck in the pet shop. Yeah, me and another guy are the only ones tall enough. It make the cameras make you think there's a thousand zombies outside that window. No, it is me and Joseph Harden walking back and forth, going. Bleh. That was <laughs> it. Wow. You know, wow. but the whole time, you know, we're thinking, oh man, this is cool. But the other people got to go over there and hold, do the whole trash can scene with Glenn. Right, right, so, right. And that, and that, we're they think we're right. doing something cool, and they're right. actually yeah. the ones that's actually doing something right. cool. But, <laughs> yeah. but flash forward to the next season is when things actually started to, to, to pick up because, wow. you know, they were making me uglier. And the, and the thing was, when I was 17, I joined the Army. Yeah. So when they cut, when I shaved my head, I had a widow's peak from hell. Oh. So I knew <laughs> then my hair was never coming back. Right. right. So they started putting hair on me. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I'm doing this all through the day. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You're not used to it. Yeah. Right, floor, right. So in uh, season seven is the, the when they they bring in uh -oh. Negan. And, right. uh, uh oh. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Negan. <laughs> <laughs> right. They actually bring me into the, the scene. I was actually played two walkers in one scene. It's the part where Rick is kidnapped by Negan. And yeah, it, yeah. well, as Rick's getting on the RV, I'm one of the walkers, the bald walker, that he's pushing off to get onto the gotcha. right the RV. Right, yeah. right. Well, then he jumps off and he's hanging on the corpse. Right. Uh, Again, thus tall. Get the tall guy. Yeah. Him off the walker that cuts in half, and I turn around. And I'm one of the first deaths that needs kills of, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's all. That's cool, walkers. man. Ooh, man. So oh, cool. Then, I, then I'm like, well, you know, there was a little bunch of us. Maybe it won't make TV. And then next thing it makes TV, and I am the Rick Pinata Walker. Oh. Um, then you go on, folks, and I do more. Then another hero zombie that I played was the Carnival. Oh, when yeah, Michonne and Rick yeah. are at that's, the That was the episode where that really bad CG deer was, right? Correct. Yeah, that yeah, 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 that was terrible. Right. Me and that deer had a very, very close relationship. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I spent at least four hours eating from this deer's carcass. Right. That she thinks it's Rick. She thinks it's eating Rick. Yeah. Right. And the story right. behind this is we're tied up. You know, we've been murdered and they left us there yeah, to, right, to, right. to come back. So they put, they've got this empty carcass of a deer yeah. and they throw dyed roast beef inside it. So for hours on hours, hours, I'm eating roast beef and you can see in some of my photos that my food is like, <laughs> right. Wow. And then when Yum. I'm done, I really spit hurl. it out. Right. right. That's great. Right. So, um, wow. It's, and I'm telling you, I couldn't taste food for two weeks. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it didn't matter what it was. That's so crazy. we're doing the scene, and then here comes Michonne. She gets up, and I get up to go after Michonne, and Ben's in the same scene. Right, 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 right. And uh, Andrew Lincoln comes out of nowhere with a hatchet, and he chops Boom. my head off. Yeah. And then I become wow, the Rick Carney Carnage Walker. <laughs> wow, but, that's crazy. Uh, I was not supposed to be killed. Oh, really? Andrew Lincoln changes it in the middle. He goes, wouldn't it be better if I just killed this guy? And I'm thinking to myself in my head, no. yes, it yeah, would be right, better right. for me. Face time. Yeah. Uh, but uh, 
when they kill you know you as as a kid growing up I loved professional wrestling oh, right. so oh, I yeah. had a trampoline we would fake wrestle yep. I even would do yard work to rake up leaves to build my own wrestling man Oh you know, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. I learned how Character. to fall watching wrestling. Right. Oh. So he decides he's going to kill me. Well, he kills me with this rubber hatchet for hours. And as I'm falling on that hard Georgia clay, it's like oh, yeah. falling it's no on joke. pavement. Right. Right. And I didn't want to tell anybody I'm hurting. You know. <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah. You gotta look tough. You know. Yeah, right, right. Tough. look tough. You know. I'm, Suck it up. But you're getting beat up then. I'm getting beat up. Okay. Wow, you're doing stuff. So I mean, yeah. yeah. And at the end of the day, and I had already been killed numerous times. Right. But not this many times, over and over and right. over, on that George right. Georgia clay, yes. and I'd fall to my knees each time. I swear to you guys, I had softball-sized bruises oh, no. on my knees from that scene. Yeah. But it was well worth it because when, the, when it aired, it's kind of like all that shit you went through. You know, right. made yeah. it better. Right. right. And For then, those three seconds of you getting killed. Correct. Totally worth you know, it. So wow. so That's worth awesome. It. And then All the work that goes into that, it. Then, yeah. then the last one I'd done, I'd actually had quit the show. After episode one of season eight, I quit. They taught me to come back, and I said, I'll do one more. I'm done. And then they, I took like six episodes off. Okay. She calls me back and says, Hey, we got you a great walker. You're going to be one on one. And I said, I'll do this, but I am done this time. Right. I mean right. it. Right. I'm done. Yeah, what was that scene? Yeah. This is the one where yeah. um, Carol and Morgan are looking for Henry. And it's Morgan's last episode. Okay. Before he takes off to fear. Right. So they're in the woods where they see this zombie with this long beard with Henry's stick in his stomach. And Carol goes, Henry. And the blood's all over my face. So it makes you, and I even I think, because they have the guy that plays Henry dead as, right. a, as, a, as a zombie, but it's actually for the vision scene. But I'm uh, thinking I'm actually going to eat this dude later right. on in the day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. And um, so we do the scene of me coming with the stick with the long beard, and they stake, stake me in the eye. Morgan yanks it out oh. and hits me right between the eyes. He actually poked me in the eye one time. But I had so much makeup, it just bounced. Oh, okay, good. It yeah. bounced right. right. Hazard of the job. And then Hazard of the job. Beard gold walker. And then oh. on my way home, I, I get the phone call, and she goes, are you sure you're done? And I said, I'm done. And then that was That was it. That was okay. it. And then, why did, then, why did, why did, why did then you decide like, to do well, that, though? Well, this might kick off something else, and yeah. then COVID happened. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Like, gotcha. I've done this right. for right. a while. and Why did right. you decide to leave the show? Why did you do that? I've always heard the thing: if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it. Don't all. say okay. it. I it. But I do. But it's Fair not enough. that I don't appreciate. Right. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I appreciate everything they've done for me, right. and I, I, I live life as once something's not fun anymore. Oh yeah, you stop oh, yeah, doing totally. it. It's not, yeah. You stop, stop doing, doing it. it. And yeah, that okay. was not my job. Totally. Right. I have a job. Yeah. I spent right. 21 years in the army. Yeah. You know, I've got a a, a job that pays me. And puts food on the table. Yeah, this was right. something fun. Right. And once it became not fun. Right. I was like, all right, I'm done. Totally, totally done. But like I said, I don't take any of it back because they gave me a great experience. Right. I come here. Yeah. People I never would have right. gotten yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, right. for somebody to come up and say, hey, man, will you sign this? Will you sign yeah. this? You know, as a kid, do you think ever that that's going to happen? And me, how, how I fell into The Walking Dead was on accident. I didn't uh, put in for The Walking Dead. I got right. contacted. Yeah. Right. You know, and to not have zero kind of acting career, no kind of nothing. Yeah, how did that happen? Who, who, when, I why? Met the right person okay. at the right wow. time. Wow. Yeah. This girl asked me. She said, "Have you ever thought about doing The Walking Dead?" And at the time, I thought you had to be in L.A. You know, you right. had to be in school. Yeah. You right. had to do all like this stuff. Experience. And I yeah. heard about zombie school. I didn't know. How long zombie school was, or right. what it was? Or if there's a it was, test. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's one of those things that you're like, no, not me. Right. You yeah. know, I live in a small town in South Carolina with two red lights. Right. You know, yeah. I'm never going to be on TV. If it's on TV, it's probably not something good. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And, um, so she tells me this, and um, I give her my contact, and I leave thinking I'm never going to hear from this person right. ever yeah. again. Right. Right. I'm sitting at work one day and my phone rings. She goes, hey, I sent your photos over to my friend. They love you. You're going to get a phone call in five minutes. Wow, okay. okay. Well, sure enough, within five minutes, I, I, I get the message. Wow. Yeah. Hey, can you be at zombie school <laughs> in like two days? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I'm like, okay. And I'm looking. 
I, I go on night shift. And I was like, well, can, what time can I be there? And they said, well, can you be here, here? And I'm like, well, I've got enough time because it's a three-hour drive right. yeah, that yeah. I could do it. Yeah. So as I'm getting all this stuff, it's like, is this really happening? Right. You know. It's me. That's right. <laughs> because I knew then it was a lot harder to get on that show than it is now. Right. Yeah. You know. Right. Um, right. So as we, we go, we get to the studio. My name's on the list. My buddy that goes with me can't go in. He has to stay outside. Right. So we go inside, and I start seeing these guys. And when I'm 6'3", 220 pounds, and these guys are 5'7", 100 pounds soaking wet, I said, as soon as they see me, I'm out of here. Right, yeah. Right. You know? Yeah. And uh, I'm like, okay, so I'm just floating through it. This experience is great. Well, we go into the room. And it's it's a basically a one hour audition right. in front of who's ever in that room. Right. We go in the room and it's Greg freaking Nicotero. Uh, right. That's awesome. And All right. me yeah, growing up awesome. a horror fan, oh man, oh, yeah, same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same. And I see Greg Nicotero and I'm like, well, I'm done. I don't give a crap if they pick me or not. Right. You yeah. Know? That was enough, and right? They, they they yeah. And they, he's like, we want to see your zombie walk. So I'm doing my best thing. I'm saying, how can I do a zombie walk because I've never really even tried it. Right. I didn't even try it before I come in there. And I said, you know, think about it. When you got to piss at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. That's what you channeled. Okay. I channeled. Slow it down a little bit. Slow it down a little bit. So I go and I do my zombie walk and everybody in the room, there's like 20 of us. And I think we were class B. There's A, B, C, and D. And it was one hour. And um, It's crazy. So we're doing that. And then when we're done with that, they want two people to die. And even being in the military, my uncle told me when I joined the military, do not volunteer for nothing. But it's like me with Homer. Don't push the button. Right. 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 Yeah. Yes. So they want to volunteer and it's just like automatically. Huh. Right. There you go. You right. know? And I was like, I'll do it. Because in my mind, I knew how to fall because right. I'd watched professional wrestling right. my right. entire life. Right. Right. All that training on the trampoline right. that I thought was going nowhere right. is finally it paid paying off. off. Yeah. Paid you know, and I'm like, oh man, this is freaking awesome. Dude. This girl cannot get it right. She's just falling all kind of places oh. and stuff like that. She's a pretty girl, so I figured she'd still be okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and I said, This has gotta be perfect. And they do it and I I mean it's awesome. It's perfect. And Greg oh. Nick goes, that's how it's done. Oh, not cool. only did awesome. he love my Return of the Living Dead shirt. Yeah. Nice. Good call. Go. Good call. The freaking fall was phenomenal. I don't think I ever made a fall that perfect ever again. Nice. You said the but, bar high. Yeah, that's right. So I said, all right. So two hours ago, I thought I'm going home to now I think maybe I got a 20% chance that this might, this might work out. Right. So yeah. when we leave, I'm still happy because I just got – to spend a, an hour with one of my idols. Yeah. Right. And he praised me. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like, okay, I'm still not going to hear nothing from him. And because uh, I'm way bigger than all these guys. So as we leave and we go down the road, I'm like, hey, my buddies asked me how did it go. I said, man, it, it went good, but, you know, I think it is what it is. I'm just too right. big because, yes. you know, I look like I ate two of the other guys. Right. 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 There was a problem with me at that time that I liked Skittles. And I would bring Skittles in a Ziploc bag. I'd got a pound bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah the big and ones. And even though I would tell folks, I'm not eating a lot of Skittles a day, but those 10 to 20 a day. <laughs> You're eating the whole bag. Right. Yeah, right. I'm eating the whole bag. bag eventually. Gone. So wow. um, sure enough, within weeks, they call me and said, how many days can you work? And I said, well, these is what I work. Because they knew I told them I had a full-time job. Scared, and yeah. they were like, we can use you as much as we you're available. Wow. And I was like, awesome. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, so it just, it all worked out. And again, like I said, I'm very appreciative because I'll have these stories for the rest of my life. Right. The friendships I met, some of the best walkers that ever came onto the show, in my opinion, come from the, my the class. Early class. Yeah. Well, in my, in my class. Oh, who's in your class? Can Alex you? Hill. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. Freaking uh, Joseph Harden. Oh. Uh, Cammy, the one that's the first single zombie to ever be on the cover of Entertainment Weekly. Oh, okay. There you go. Wow. You know, and then I was in that class. Um, so, and and freaking Alex is killing it. 
Right. Alex is still on the show. He's right. done Fear. He's done all this right. other stuff. Oh, wow. Then I meet Ben the very first day I'm yeah, on the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had a lifelong he's got that friendship. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Alex see this guy for the first time, and we're sitting down, and here comes Ben, and you see his movements. Yeah. And he's getting uh, some food, coffee, and right. his neck's like this. <laughs> and he's doing all this, and I look at Alex, and Alex looks at me, and we're like, Holy crap. <laughs> I said then, I said, this dude's going to be famous. Yeah. And then to come to find out when they do the Talking Dead, did it with Chris Hardwick, yeah. they were doing it, that was Ben that they said, that dude is going to be famous. And I never knew that until after I had said it. And I'm like, no way. Dude, he caught it too. I caught it. And look at Ben. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah he's, he's on ben. Ozark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah. Stranger Things season four. Yeah. Um, right. I then got, yeah. another hit show on Netflix I can't tell you about. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, so things are, are happening. And it's yeah, good to see that so awesome. for these guys that started out like me. Right. And they're they're doing this. Right. What doors you know? the walking dead That's open right. for y'all? That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's and awesome. I, you know, I I look at it, people say, Man, but you 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 know, you you've done this. And I said, This isn't my passion. Right. You know, that right. I, I have a job, I have a family, I do this for fun. Right. That when when things kinda start to I'll come back and I'll start doing a, a little more stuff. Yeah. Right. But I'm glad to see my friends that actually do this for a living, not in standstill. Oh right. yeah, definitely. Exactly. They're actually exactly yeah. doing. It. Now, me, I know, yes. I know, uh, you know, you're a Walking Dead fan, big time. Uh, obviously, in the comic books, yes, comic book man. So, are, were you a fan of the show and the comics as well? Yeah, no, I read the comics first. Awesome, and, uh, awesome. Right. I loved. Uh, you know, from moment one, I, I read the first issue. Right. I was like. Holy crap! There's a they put an Asian kid in this comic. Right. There you go. Right. And then yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah right for there. sure. <laughs> yeah, no, no, holy crap! He does all the stuff that nobody else wants right. to do. And he, you know, his origin, right. he delivered pizzas in Atlanta. Or, right. Yeah, I was like, Dude, yeah. this is awesome. That got me in right away. So exactly. And uh, yeah, I was from there. I, I was a huge fan. Right. Um, right. And the. the the comics, uh, whether you start with single issues or most people start with the trade paperbacks right. or the That's big compendiums, yep. you whip through those so fast because yep. they're so good. Yeah, right. And, um, Keep going. Yeah, it was a great mix of black and white art. It was really gory. Right. But, you know, told, like, the character development and everything. And right. then it was later, I was like, holy crap, they're making a TV show? I was like, I got to. Yeah. If, if they follow the comics and and if they follow the comics, they'll get this right. This would be oh, yeah. a pretty cool show amongst comic book fans. Exactly. Not knowing that it was going to blow up like it did. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. Right, Who, who's right. your favorite walker on the show? Actually, oh, do I have a show. favorite one? Uh, no, I like no. the Well Walker was uh, yeah, was a big go. one. Yeah. So, I mean, because yeah, I think I think it was Glenn had a lot to do with yep, uh, yep, pulling that one apart. Yep. Yeah, that was that was a good one. Yep. I mean, yeah, wasn't I, that one all prosthetics. That wasn't a real person. That was a. I think only like, the upper half, maybe. Yeah, I thought, but I thought it was like a production dude. Yeah, I thought it. Uh, yeah, yeah, not like it, a background walker. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but now I know you were, you were that was you, the Billy Corgan Walker. I, know, yeah, so yeah. I go back oh, and watch that for so sure. Crazy, yeah, yeah. So I mean, there's so many great Walker deaths. So the the one where they make the clo the, the clothesline and they oh, go down the yes. middle, the median yes. of the road, and they and they just chop them all in half. Mom that was down. that was yeah, that was a great one. Uh, yeah, I've met Melissa Cohen. Is that her yeah, name? The bicycle zombie. Uh, Addie yeah. Miller, the little girl uh, oh, teddy yeah. bear yeah. zombie. Yeah, 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 that's a favorite yeah. as well. Like that one really set set the tone for sure. But yeah. So how did you feel when they were going to actually make comic boom man how, how did oh, it come off <laughs> i mean oh, i didn't i didn't believe it i, I got a you know why yeah. i got a text from kevin smith and he's like oh. hey uh this is gonna sound weird because they're, they're amc you know, you know the zombie show their thing while i was shooting a reality show at the comic that's book shop so crazy. and i'm like oh that sounds cool it's a cool shop like they, they're you know they're, they got you on board that's awesome he's like yeah. no, no no you don't get it they want you and walt and the other guys on the show i'm like what like we're not I'm not an actor I don't right, I'm not yeah. right. reality show like what do you I thought he was just really high because he smokes oh, a lot right, of weed right. like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I was like good. yeah I was like how high are you he's like um, he's like stay tuned and I'm like oh, okay I was like alright whatever but yeah then it just started developing where wow. they shot like uh, they brought a camera crew in shot like a pilot episode um, which um, there's a there's a like a the other pilot episode. It's on YouTube oh, if you I ever want to watch it. That, yeah. Fifteen okay. minutes. It's kind of they made it wow. just to show. Makes, okay. Yeah, they 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 came with a loose idea that. of what it could be like. You know, people wow. bring in to buy and sell stuff. That was um, there was that really weird for you to actually sit in front of a camera for the first time? It, yeah, for t for about two days it was. Then I got then I got used yeah, to it. I was like, oh, yeah. They're like, listen, 
just do what you usually do. Make you know, uh, right. talk about uh, you know, like what what Star Wars starship you would love to have in your garage. Wow, you know, just right. these BS conversations. Just do what yeah. you usually do, and uh, you know, we'll shoot it, we'll edit it, so it's so it's awesome. Right. And uh, so it took a couple of days, but um, you, you get get used to it really quick. So cool. um, the whole crew, they're all pop culture fans, okay. so nice. they were really cool. Like we're still good friends to this day, nice. just because we were yeah we're friends. We were like all fans of James Cameron's Aliens. Like we would quote yeah. Aliens every yep. day. Yep. Mm -hmm. We were on the set. We would talk about Ghostbusters. We were just all pop culture fans, exactly. so yeah, it was, exactly. it was it was cool. It was like a, it was like a summer camp every year. We shot right, that show. Right. Now did that location actually close? No, uh, we moved it. Had to, we moved? had to move it up block south. Okay, um, I just went. Yeah, you were there. Yeah, he was just there. He was just there. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. And it's nice. It's, I've been to the old, I went to the old one and the new one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I always miss the, the old stores. Right. That's where Comic Book One was. Sure, that was a, sure. the you know Got the original spot. There. Had a lot of uh, cool moments there, but right. you know you know progress. At least it didn't close. You know, moved right. it bigger, yes, moved, right. bigger, cooler space. Um, you know, since it was a blank canvas, basically, like Kevin got to do whatever he wanted to. So he's like, all right, I'm gonna rebuild the quick stop facade from Clerks in the back wall. I'm going to oh. put like the Iron Bob from James on my reboot yeah, sure. oh, I, got a I didn't know he did all that. Yeah, yeah. and then the yeah. Buddy Christ will get yeah. a proper shrine. Yeah. So they got like a church pew. Yeah. There's stained oh, glass. The, the from Dogma. It's the actual <laughs> wow, one. You can actually go and like pray to it or worship <laughs> it or whatever. It's pretty cool. I got you know, you. yeah. So they totally got to. You know the uh, the the walrus from Tusk. Yep. Is it's in the, the in, in the in, in the front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's in the front. That's really cool. Like if you're a Kevin Smith fan, it's it's a total Kevin Smith museum. Wow. In addition to a comic book shop. Right. In addition to like a Kevin Smith movie memorabilia shop. Yeah. He really that guy that guy knows how to open up. Yep. The store, that's man. cool. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, all the stuff's in there signed by him. Oh and, wow. And and when he comes to town, whatever if if there's a sign about just, service. Yeah, so they're just signed. Everything. Nice, and, and you, you don't pay for the senior. It's yeah, included with the retail. Price. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Wow, that's that's really nice. Man, cool. man posters and they're signed by yeah, all of them. Nice, yeah, so, nice. Yeah. yeah, he's smart. It's like he'll sign, yeah. he'll skin off my back. That's very and cool. Gives, you know that. You know why would you buy this pop at Funko or off Amazon? Right here where I've signed it. So. Exactly. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's very cool. Yeah, actually, I uh, saw him at uh, MegaCon in yeah, Orlando. Last week, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was there yeah, last yeah, weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I love us. So Kevin, he's doing a lot of cons now. Yeah, yeah, I see and, uh, that. That's uh, awesome. Because yeah, yeah, I hadn't seen him at a con. And yeah, he awesome. would do, like, maybe one a year, he would go to maybe San Diego. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, cool. Even oh. then, like, he wouldn't sign really. Right. He wouldn't do, like, the photo ops per se. Right. He, maybe do a and, panel or yeah, something. I wouldn't say maybe, you know, maybe saw me doing all these. Like, wait, right. I should be doing some of these. So, right. So he's doing a ton this year. That's good. Um, and yeah, you know, a lot of it is uh, he's smart. He's doing the cons, make a little bit of money from doing autograph. But what he's really doing is advertising for Clerks Clerk 3. Oh, yeah. totally. There you go. There you, you go. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All these fans are hey, come see Clerks 3 this fall. Clerks right, Clerks right. This fall. That's smart. It's, yeah. It's, oh, he's very smart. Very I mean, smart. I mean, huge fans, as you all know. Oh, yeah. His line was, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was dressed up, you yeah. know, the Clerks. Yep, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Sam uniform. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The fun police. Yep, yep. 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 Well, so, me, and me and Casey was outside of the gas station last night. I'm like, who's this remind you? Oh, yeah. A couple of stoners outside the There you go. Well, we went stoned out. We were like getting Gatorades. Literally, whatever. Look at a Funko Pops, actually. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. The, the bad part is one of my favorite movies of his is he's kind of got a it's kind of like a sore yeah. subject. Is yeah. that Cop Out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love, yeah. I love, oh, I love yeah. it. I, I love it, but I've crazy. always heard oh, like yeah. some negative things that went on, I guess, would... would yeah, Bruce Willis. Yeah, so, so it... Be not the most yeah, that's right. Right. And, you know, right. And, uh, you know, what's his brain? Yeah, that's right. I didn't realize that was him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, Tracy Morgan's all the Tracy Morgan. Yeah. Which I got tickets yeah, to see Tracy awesome. Morgan. He's going to be at the Comedy Zone. Oh, okay. Wow, that's great. cool. Great. Yeah. Don't you have a Funko Pop? I do. Yeah. yeah. How is how is it having yeah. one of those? How does that awesome. happen? Oh, really? Awesome. So, I, uh, a few years back, uh, I, I got invited to take a tour of Funko. That's but, awesome. That's yeah. right, because Kevin Smith did the opening, right? Uh, yeah. They're doing yeah. Funko before, the, before they built that big Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I got a tour of their old studio, and I oh, met wow. the PR people. And it was, Fungo is, you know, touring Fungo is obviously awesome. You see yeah. Toys, you see yes. everybody's desk. Yes. Uh, they have a whole room where they, they hand you a box. to like, fill the box. Just take whatever you want. Wow. Wow. It's wow. nice great. But they also have this whiteboard, and, and there are all these names on there. And they're like, what's that? They're like, oh, 
people come by and they write down the stuff that we don't make yet that they would like to see. Oh. And I'm like, hey, like, you ever? All right, there are two things that I wanted: Die Hard. Yes. And yes. Lost Boys and Point Break. Three yeah. things. Okay. Yeah. Die Hard and Lost Boys. They they, they made. Right. Point Break, not so yet. Point but break. hopefully the, the one old, day. The old yeah, Point Break, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, oh yeah. Yes. Not the remake. Yeah. No okay. Way. Good. Totally. Good. But then I was like, hey, you ever think they'd make like comic book men ones? And they're like, hey, anything could happen. And uh, yeah, lo and behold, like, Kevin had a meeting with them a couple months later, and they were like, hey, why don't we tie that into the show? We'll make uh, pop figures of the comic book men. And, and yeah, all of a sudden they and did it. it. And uh, yeah, they, wow. so they were like, hey, let's tie this into the episode, our grand opening. We'll bring yeah. everybody out. Right. Like Kevin will cut the ribbon. Like, this would be a great episode. And, right. uh, and, it, and it was, and we debuted the figures. And, uh, you, know, and me, you know, I'm a geek, I'm a toy collector. Right, right. I like. I love comics. I really love toys, though. Yeah, yeah. And to have one of your favorite toy lines like, with the packaging make you an, an official. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That, that's awesome. Yeah. It was really, really awesome. Well, so. collect. What toys do you I collect toys, too. Uh, yeah, uh, old vintage G.I. Joe's definitely yes. is my yes. first and foremost. Uh, but yeah, Funko Pop three figures. Quarter, three, yeah. three quarter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, yeah I collect yeah. the Funko Pop. Nice. Yeah, I'm big yeah. Funko Pop. Yeah, Funko I've been with you while you was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, them, yeah. I have got a ton of monographs, and I'm not talking about a yeah. little bit. I've got a yeah, ton. And I, I enjoy every minute of it. It's, it's the perfect canvas for mm -hmm. autographing. Oh, Sign out the window. Yeah. You can still see the figure. Yeah. yeah. You can protect it. You can display it. And it's yeah. killer and, nice. Yeah, and then, you know, inherently, if you got, you know, just a retail Funko figure, 10 bucks. Right. 10 bucks. They're easily collectible. Yeah, yours is getting up there, though, right? Yeah, they're limited. They're limited. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're limited. You gotta get them when they come out. Yeah. Otherwise, oh, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, yeah. They're, they're yeah, but hard. I love it. I think it's, yeah, That's it's fun. Awesome. It's oh, fun. yeah. What about Hasbro going to the, the non plastic where it's all cardboard now? Do you think that's gonna. Hurt. Uh, I, we'll see. I'm still used to. I love. I, I love, just right. Yeah, I just love the, the, plastic GI, the GI Joe, the plastic yeah, window. Yeah, yeah. yeah come on. I love it, that. Yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to save the environment. Get that. out of here, man. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. Hasbro's. They're trying to get away with that. So, and I'm just worried. Yeah, like, it's crazy. No, because you, you need to see the. You yeah. See what's you gotta see the all the accessories. Yeah, you gotta see yeah. how it's painted. Yeah, everything. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm a little. I'm on that. Now, have you seen the Super Seven? They're my favorites. Matt said. I know. Yeah, I love Super Sevens. Um. Uh, yeah, I've got the Transformers. Same. I just got, got the GI Joes. Yep. Uh, they have the the alien. They did Alien, so yeah. they're 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 really killing it yep. right now. And yeah, the guy running, he's a super fan. He's a geek. Oh, sweet. Yep. So there he's trying to license all his favorite it's stuff. Like my fans forfeit, right? Yeah, yeah. but they, yeah. they came with the, those like those misfit figures, which yeah. were awesome. So it's not just like you know pop culture, like music, right? Um, like anything that he likes. Yeah, and they uh, right. and, yeah they yeah, yeah they got, got some cool Hawks stuff. Thundercats. Yep. So I was like, you know, I love those growing up. Yeah. So and then they do like the Jejo Ultimates, so yes, you know the higher price yep. but more detailed. They yeah, they're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're awesome. Super Seven's awesome. That's awesome. I didn't know you were toy Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In case. He's got a whole toy room. No yeah, joke. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have no doubt. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, right? Yep. Uh, got anything else going on, Dusty, in the, in the books? Or are you just trying to... I am, how many times have you been, you been killed? Do you have a count? Oh, God. Do you yeah, have a hard by? count? Or an approximate ballpark? Maybe around 10. Okay, wow. that's awesome. Times? Wow. That's uh -oh. awesome. Who's all you've been on killed screen? by? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who you been killed by? Rick. Nice. Negan. Morgan. Tara. Jerry. Oh, Jerry's my boy. Uh, I got killed by uh, extras one time. How? No way. Because they, they were the saviors. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And um, <coughs> I'm thinking I'm right. No, I was a savior. Okay. I even got to play a so living character. Yeah. You thought a savior too? Oh, okay. Well, okay. the whole goal was me be a savior and die and come back as a zombie. Right, oh, right. So gotcha. I'm leading the charge. You know, here we go. And the group, their group. You remember when everybody teams up to kill the saviors? Yeah. That group comes up out of the. Uh, they're hiding in like a grassy area where a building is, and they come up and they they shoot me so okay. that I die as a living yeah. character. Wow! Um, so you come back, yeah. okay? Actually, I don't come back. Oh, you don't? That um, that was the eight that I said I was done, gotcha. and I come back for that Walker. Okay. Gotcha. So they they just used somebody else to okay to come back. Okay. Appreciate it, man. That's um, cool. Nice. Is there you have a wish list of like another show you'd like to be on? You know. I felt like I love The Walking Dead, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I felt like it ruined it for me as a fan being on it. Now, you know, that's you know, I live in that's Newton, and that's one reason I never tried to be on the show. I yep. was too afraid 
<laughs> that would ruin That's, the experience. It, 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 it wasn't that it was like, oh, I hate doing this. It was the fact that every week I look forward to seeing what happened. Yeah. Then I got to where every week I look forward to see if I'd make TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. So to me, it took away... Took away from the story. Correct. Me. Yeah. It, it, Correct. it would take away the excitement yeah. for me. It's so, like when I, I lived in Noonan, it would like... I would see stuff, and I know characters that die but even before they happen. That's right. That's and it's right. just because you hear yeah. stuff, and it's like it Everything ruined got it. Spoiled, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah right, right on. Right. But yeah. if it's the right thing, and I and I've gotten offers, you know, I had them called me about being the royal mummy and Goosebumps too. That's pretty cool. And uh, I should have done it. And I I turned it down. My right. work wasn't couldn't delete no, it was like man, six okay, days yeah. that were yeah, split yeah, yeah. separate right, you right. know so I had to pick and choose. But Ben sure, ended up getting sure. it, so that worked out. Um, and I'll, I'll get stuff every once in a while, but it, it's kind of like, you know, when it happens, it happens. Right. But I, I kind of want to pick something I know nothing about. Right. Because I don't want to be that that one again. I go jump on a show right. that I'm a fan of, and it takes away it from it. just takes away from the right. excitement. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I got gotcha. you. Yep. I gotcha. I guess it's kind of like like I always hear Andrew Leakin doesn't watch himself. It's, yep. I guess. Well, a lot. Now, I've, now met, you yeah, why, I, yeah. I've met a lot of people that said they've never watched it. Right. They work for them. Yeah, they work for the show. Okay. They're just they, they, the work. They, they, any, yeah, that's done the, the, any the part job. of the show. It's his job. And, oh. yeah. and then the one guy I met this weekend, he actually told me he has not watched an episode after he died. Oh wow! Wow! He's like, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> so that's crazy, right? That's crazy. And then you try to talk to some of these ones that died earlier, and I'm like, "Well, do you watch the show?" And they're like, "No." Nah. Yeah. Right. You know, and you kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, right. And you understand it, but Walking Dead fans, they remember every episode. Yep. Exactly. They remember everything. They're like, "You're we're wearing this. You did this," and I don't even remember right. that. Yeah. You know. Right. So. It, the following is so huge. Right. It's rabid. You know, it's, it's crazy. It's I, like Star Wars level. You know what I mean? That, it, yeah. it, 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 it is. And I and I tell folks, the I got I got spoiled the very first time I actually went out for an autograph sign and I got spoiled. It was uh, free comic book day. Yeah. And there was a new Walking Dead comic book that was coming out. Yeah. So yeah. they brought me and another walker in. This is when Walking Dead was still like smoking hot. Right, right. And um, they bring me into this comic. It was the first show I ever done. I just got my AMC prints. Right. You know, I just got a banner. You know, I'd never done none of this. And I'm thinking, man, there's not going to be anybody there, you know, for me. Right. When we pull up, there is a line. And I'm telling you, it goes around the block and went all the way down the street. Oh, that's crazy. It never stopped for four hours. They wow. did it for four wow. hours. It never stopped. Wow. And I'm wow. like, is this how it's going to be every time? <laughs> you know? Right, then, right. then my next one, you're like, da, 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 da. Right. you know, so right. you never know. But, right, you never you know. know. It's, it's always the ones that I went to that were the ones I thought, well, you know, this might be okay. That turned out to be great, right. and the ones I thought, man, this is going to be good, right? You know, mm, right. you know, right. But I think it also too is this, maybe it's run its course, right, right, yeah. in ways. Yeah, it'd be curious to see if it starts to pick back up again. Correct. Back That's what I'm thinking. Down. Maybe, you know what I mean? yeah. maybe two or three years or four. You know how yeah. you go back and watch a TV show. Like I go back every year and watch Smallville. Yeah, I love freaking oh, Smallville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just went back and watched that show, Ed, about the bowling alley yeah, log. Yeah, 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 I yeah. love that yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. And I go back and I watch it for the first time since it aired, and I see uh, John Krasinski. Yep, Jim yep. on the yeah, office. Yes, he plays a small little part in one yep. little episode, and I'm yep. seeing all these people, you know, right. that back then that have done other things. Right. And I'm like, man, that show is was was so good. Right. And I'm hoping that happens for The Walking Dead that Over five six years shows. later sure. it pops back up, you sure. know, and um, yeah, especially since all the episodes are available on Netflix. Yep. Yeah, right. you can watch you know, them anytime. Right. Yeah, right. it, it definitely, they're there forever. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Now, me, I know before we wrap up, yeah. can you talk about your podcast? You were, you're, oh, yeah. I've uh, opened up a couple of podcast studios in New Jersey. So uh, nice. uh, I would love 
if one day you guys could come up and podcast at the studio, oh, wow. you'll love it. So yeah, awesome. But I open awesome. up a space where anyone can uh, launch and record podcasts. Oh, that's so, awesome, that's man. That's yeah, cool. just think of a recording studio as just for podcasting. Wow. So, and you know, not everyone can play an instrument. Not everyone has a band. Not right. everyone sings. Everyone can talk. Everyone oh, yeah. can start a right. podcast. Right. Everyone's got something they want to talk about. So that's I'm trying to get all those people in. So oh, so far really so cool. good. But and what's the name of it? Is it's called the shared universe. Shared universe. Called nice. the shared universe. So that yeah, yeah. Our other logo is the sugar skull. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you, you know, go. You yeah. can run with it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I love, I love that you're recording here like this. Right. Like this you can so truly cool. do this anywhere. You know, there's internet. You can stream whatever. Right. You yeah. record it, document it. Yep. Like, this is a, this is cool. Right. Everyone should be doing this. Yeah, yeah we're we're actually live at the camp right now. It's yep. an event in Peachtree City, Georgia. Yep. What's some upcoming events y'all going to be at? Uh, I'm, I'm all over the map, man. I'm okay, kind of cool. like watching. I'll be at San Diego Comic Con. Uh, I'll be, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll, nice. I'll be around for sure. So Absolutely. you know, Smokey Mountain Fan Fest. Yeah, I'll be at Smokey Mountain. Mountain. Awesome, Mountain. Mountain. we'll see you there. Yeah, oh, okay. That's awesome. Okay, cool. There you go. There you go, guys. Yeah. 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 Well, I was a huge fan of the comic book, man. I never thought I'd be on a podcast. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So cool. you, you get a podcast set up a microphone. I'm jumping behind it, man. No doubt. So thank you for the warm welcome. Oh yeah, absolutely. Same for me. Walker Stalker one in Atlanta. I'm getting a picture with this guy. Right. Him, and Mike, and Brian, and never would have thought I'm sitting on a couch yeah, yeah, right. the podcast again. Yeah, yeah. a decade really. later doing a doing a podcast. Right. So, you right. know, yeah. the way the world works. Yep. Yeah. I know, right? And, and, and awesome you can thank The Walking Dead for that. Yep. If oh, it yeah. wasn't for yeah, The Walking Dead, this, this would not happen. Hashtag The Walking Dead. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yep. That's right. right. TWE really family, is. baby. Yeah, absolutely. Dusty, appreciate oh, your yeah, service, man. man. Thank you all oh, so yeah. much. Definitely appreciate everything you've done on the yep. show. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, man. Never thought I'd be sitting here with Walker. Just here. I love hearing the stories. That's what it's all about. Yep, that's yeah. right. You know what I mean? I've got so. plenty. Yeah, yeah. And I religiously watch comics. Thank you. I appreciate oh, yeah. that. Say, oh, I appreciate oh, that, totally guys. Did. Totally, yeah. totally. Yeah. And I still collect comics. And yep. I still collect yep. toys. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah that, it's yeah. the best, man. It's the all best. Right. And Dusty, you know what I do? I've been a tour guy yep. for ten years for the Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. Jimmy does. Yeah, tour guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's awesome. Jimmy. I've known right. Jimmy for a long time. Right. Oh, yeah. I met Jimmy for the first time at uh, Atlanta Braves old stadium. Oh, he's a big Braves fan. That's oh, it. Oh, it was, oh yeah. It was a sign, and I, they said fan day. Yeah. And that was the first oh, yeah. time I met. Yeah. I did it then well, with, with, Drew, with Drew Hefner. That was a crazy yeah, day, by yeah, the way. I, I was oh. on a scooter. I had broke my leg. Remember? I remember that. And I was pedaling around there. That's the same day as that blood clot player ass and almost died. Oh, I, no I, joke. I thought I was going to get yeah. kicked out because I snuck a, a picture with Fred McGriff, and they oh, said no nah. pictures. Oh, so no. I did that little quick did, thing. Yeah. Did you get the picture? Heck yeah, I oh, got nice. it. There you go. That, that security guy was like. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, I like, it's like, well, it's one on. of those things. Come what on, they McGriff say, the crime dog. Come on, right, man. Yeah, come on. There you go. Right, right. Uh, what's that saying? Uh, it's okay to do something. You can ask for produce later. Produce later. That's right. Because yeah, right. right. somebody's going to say no if you ask. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Every yeah. time. Every time. Like, I didn't know. Yeah. We used to hang out with all the graphers in Atlanta. Sure and I remember me and, me and Dusty always hung out every time. Yeah, we even did sure. Conjuring 3. Conjuring 3. Filming, yeah. well, we met the, we met yeah. the director, Conjuring 3. You yes, we did meet the director. Yeah, oh, wow. I sure did. We met just about, I met And then the some dummy, we would have got to meet Patrick Wilson, but some dummy chased him up the steps of the courthouse. Well, we were sitting there, and they were filming the courthouse. House scenes, yep. and we had one particular stalker. Right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We had one particular guy that would, never would listen to us. Nope. It's like, dude, just be respectful. That's it, right. No matter if they they signed, they didn't sign. Just be respectful. Right. Right. And that dude ran his ass off, and I'm like, oh, there it goes. And Three, Dusty just started cussing. Three hundred pound like, guy running, and I'm like, big <laughs> dude. Right. And wow. it, yeah, it. Really, really, it all for everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we appreciate y'all guys coming to oh, yeah. Anytime, Anytime, guys. Us, man. Anytime. Thank you we're very much. We're going to yes. do yeah. it. So we thank you, Dusty. Thank, thank you, man. Yeah, man. Good seeing thank you, brother. Thank you, Dusty. Yeah. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank y'all. See you. All right. Well, have a good one. Thanks, guys. Enjoy it. Hey, everyone. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we got a special guest here. How you doing? I'm Bean Egan. Look, it was my first, the camp, and I got to say, man, I love the people. These are good people. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Did you take anything from them? Yeah, of course. I get half. And since Darren was here as the featured Negan, well, he got half. So half and half, I said we got it all. There you go. Nice. All right. Got a lot of photo ops and mingled with the fans this weekend? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll do it again. Plus, you can always catch us at Abraham's Army on Saturdays. Me and Mick Grimes. I don't know where he went. But. 
He ran away. He ran off. He always does that when you take. He takes your bat. So he's got your bat because you ain't got, got it on you. Bat. He said the. You know, I want to. He said I want to see the inside of my eyeballs, and he took off. So, so this is uh, Negan on TikTok. He's pretty famous. Uh, so, what's your? Uh, I be Negan. That's my 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 name on there. And uh, you, like I said, you can see us at uh, Abraham's Army quite a bit. There you go, man. We um, we appreciate you coming on here, man. Word has it we're moving. Where? To Sonoya. So oh, you'll you see are us. Moving down you're here, moving down. Down. Oh, wow! Yeah. Exclusive. Yeah. Oh snap! And I'm living on Easy Street. There you go. Is it an actual street? No, it's um, you know. Tell us where you live on. Yeah, to get one, one number and address. We all know where Negan's house is. It's okay. yeah, Negan Smith's house. It's the Smith house on the no. Uh, yeah, I got you. That's funny. It's close, man. It's right in there. Oh, yeah. Well, we appreciate you hanging by and stopping by. It's always good to see you guys. Good to see you too, yeah. Joe. All right, buddy. I just got a massage, so I'm feeling really loopy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You, little, uh, you ain't tensed up at all. You're doing pretty good. You know, they got massage artists in there, and I say artist because whoa. Did they charge the nigga? Did they charge you? Of course you? they do. They charge you double. Yeah, they charge me double, and then I take half back. <laughs> there you go. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We appreciate you, man. We appreciate you. Appreciate you. Y'all take it easy. Thank you. It's good to be back on here. Sir. Hey, how we doing? You want to tell us who you are and how you had a good time this weekend? Yes, I had a great time. My name's Christy Lucio. And Christy was one of our winners. For the yes, oh, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you for playing. Thank you for everyone for playing. What was your favorite part for today? Uh, all the great con uh, contests and stuff that were going on was great. All the egg hunt, that was fun. Didn't find one, but I tried. And then a, a lot of great guests that were here. And the photo ops, they were all great. Everything was great. Right. <laughs> did you do any photo ops? I didn't. I just did selfies and autographs. Okay, so what selfies and autographs did you oh, get? Oh, gosh. Which ones did I did not get? Okay, I went to Margaret. I went to Alex, Robert, okay, um, Caitlin, a whole bunch. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I bet Margot, too. Caitlin's She's pretty. Caitlin was my favorite. Oh, snap. Yeah. I'm missing him. And what is it like, you know, you watch the show, you see him on Sunday nights, and now you get to sit here and meet him, mingle with him, take pictures. Yeah. What's that like? It's it's crazy. <laughs> is it a little surreal? Yeah, you have to sit there and watch him for a little bit before you can think of what you even want to talk to him about. <laughs> there you go. And are you ready for the uh, season finale? This is the last eight episodes? No. Don't want it to end. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And do you tune in on Monday nights? Of course. One of the number one fans. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Chrissy, for tuning in. Thank and thank you all for watching. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yes. Jason. <laughs> J-Bone. J-Bone, come and see us. First place. Congratulations, Jason. Jason. October. Great job on the scavenger hunt. Let's talk about. Hey, everyone. Look who we found. Oh, my God. He's been missing for years now. <laughs> This guy's been a little MIA, but it's so good to see you good and see him in person. Brother. Good to see you. How you been uh, these these past few months? Been pretty good, man. Been pretty good. Just uh, doing my thing, protecting the celebrities and you know, protecting you guys and disappearing, according to Jimmy. He, he's disappeared. He's supposed to be on a podcast, I think, but he just never came back. It, it, it's every Monday I get busy. I love everybody. Just it's Mondays. It's nothing. Just Mondays. You hear this? It's, just Mondays, y'all. today, too. I was going to be on the podcast today, and I, I was a little busy. As you can tell. And I can sense a little stuttering. <laughs> you make me nervous. You're standing close to me. You are. You're you all pretty with the, What it is, you, you're so pretty with that haircut. Believe it or not, they're not married. Yeah, we yeah. are. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, 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 we went to Vegas. It's, 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 it's like actual legitimized. He, he's, so, he's so pretty with the haircut, it makes me nervous. So he's so. calling me pretty, so we're married. Right? <laughs> No, did you guys? Have, I saw that you had some celebs on the on the podcast when yeah. I walked by. Yeah, yeah. Ming stopped by. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a huge. We're both huge comic book men fans. Yeah. Oh, Never thought we'd be doing a podcast with Ming. Yeah, right. Awesome. And we got Dusty too. Dusty's been all kind of walkers. He's yeah, he did about. I think he said ten big deaths, so oh, yeah. ten hero walkers basically. Yeah. So that yeah, really cool. OG Walker. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's he's been in a lot of stuff, man. He's I mean he's done a lot of key zombies in that. Uh, and Ming, I mean that's he's just awesome. So. Right. Enough said, but no, I say y'all comfy on the couch over there in the corner. Yeah, you had your own little suite. Oh yeah, oh set yeah. Up. So when will you expect you back on the show? Is it this Monday too? No, we're actually it's taking a break this Monday because of the weekend. Today's the first Monday I was available because Memorial Day is vacation. 
So you're not going to be available the whole year, huh? No, we're going to shoot for two weekends. Two weekends. All right, all right. So we're going to shoot for that. Okay, we'll, 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 we're going to hold you to it. Because I miss you. Hear you. This. I really don't everybody miss everybody. Everybody is going to be back on the show in two weeks. Two weeks from today. I miss Tune everybody. In. Oh, we absolutely miss you, man. But I'm so glad I got to see you here in person. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing standing over there? You, you I, I don't. I, I don't need the limelight. Yeah, but y'all had a good time at the camp. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, mm, love you. They got you behind the sign now. We're going back there. <laughs> how many? Uh, how many times did you get mistaken for Jerry today? Uh, I didn't count, but there was a several. Even one of the handlers thought they were like, "Why are you here? I didn't. I didn't see you on the schedule." And I was like, "Yeah, me neither." <laughs> this lady, this lady stuff is fine. This lady comes up to me and she's like. Hey, come here. I'm like, what? She's like, you've done a really good job all weekend, but right now you, you've got a celebrity out in the lobby by himself. So I'm like, who? Hey. She's like, Jerry's out there. I said, Jerry? I'm like, yeah, Jerry. Takes me around the corner, see you. I'm like, I could not break her heart and not go because she's done so good coming to get me. I was like, I got to go get him. So yeah, that's what I can. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Really true. But yeah. I was going to say, Dustin, it's always good to see you. You know you're always welcome to the show. Yeah, and just appreciate the job you do here at the camp. So definitely feel safe with you, man. Appreciate you. Love you all. Thank you so much, Dead Truth Podcast. We'll hopefully catch you to Monday. Bring it in, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Love this guy. He's actually got to be on the show for a hair. change. How much hair gel do you use? I don't use that much. Use hair What's hair. the name of that hair gel? The name of the hair gel is actually Redken's uh, Finishing Cream. It's actually pretty good. Okay. It smells good. Smell it. Smell, smell, smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Get a maybe get a, oh, maybe get a case for a sponsorship or something. Like, <laughs> all right, thank y'all so much. I'm gonna get us walking down here real quick. Right, get some B roll. I gotta get a flower or two and take. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, everything else is All right. Oh, we get a word with Terry. Terry, oh. Terry dresses up like crazy. I know, man. He's, his artwork's amazing. Yeah. And we can get some close-ups of the art and stuff. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, that, yeah, that, yeah. Right. He didn't really walk. Yeah, I really didn't walk around much till today. It was more, you know. Yeah, he went to go back to the So cool. I tried to order this, but I don't know what happened. Amazon just canceled the order on this part. Really? Yeah. Because where does it fit in there? Dude, that's so cool. Right? That's genius. If you want to walk here, we'll front. We can do side by side. Oh, wow. That's crazy. No, no. Oh yeah, get a shot of, can you get a wide shot, like, holding the camera? <laughs> Kevin, you want to do that? What do you want me to do? Just so he can do the okay. same thing, just so he can see us. And then do, go do your selfie again. Just to get a, uh, the selfie again, Barb. Me? Yeah. Oh, you want that way he gets a whole shot of it, yeah. I got you. And you can take it again. We just want just get like some awesome. B roll together. <laughs> I know, right? No, oh, I know, right? Rude. No. Oh what? Yeah. Oh yeah. He's wrapping up. Let me get a quick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we might have just missed him. Yeah, I just talked. No, I just bought a piece hey, from him. Okay. Did you see the Star Wars thing you did? I did R2D2. I've seen the Falcon. I've seen it. I saw it. 
see R2D2 and it's yes, I love it. I love it. R2D2 at the corner, like my ears. Right, right. Like, R2D2. Yeah. Yeah. Which have you watched Obi Wan yet? No, man, dude, I'm oh, still getting through Moon Knight right so, now. So oh, to, gotcha. I went to a gas station this morning. We found two uh, chases last night, like Funko Pops. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, Bokaton. Bokaton, yeah. They had these Funko Pop chases at Circle K. Yeah. And there's a, a rare chase, Bokaton Funko Pop there. Yeah. Huh? Uh, yeah, Bo is um, she's one of the Mandalorians. Oh, I, like, I haven't. I saw the first season. Gotcha, gotcha. Let me know what I'm talking. About. I know, right? I know, right? Hey, can we get a quick word? Uh, yeah. Just what do you need? We're just doing um, some like little quick segment for the podcast. We're just making a video for the podcast, <laughs> just like uh, you know how the con went, you know how the, how the art was going, yeah. anything like that. For sure, man. Well, can we just swing around? Yeah, that way we can get the art there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on back, come on back, guys. Come on in. Or do you want to do it? Is it easier from that side, Kevin? That way you can kind of see the art? Does that work? Or, or Is that this way a little bit? Oh, good, good. That's sweet. That looks better. All right. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we got uh, Jeremy. You all remember Jeremy was on the show with us last week. Uh, he was here doing art. He did an art show. So how did the con go this weekend? Uh, con was great. Uh, thanks for stalking me, man. Yeah, we did the uh, we did the podcast, and now we're actually hanging out. So right? That's, like, right. What a great week, man. But, yeah, the con was amazing. Uh, the turnout was great. Uh, thank you for everyone who supported me and my artwork this weekend. I sold a lot of it. And I, I had a painting session, my very first teaching of how I paint. And uh, I feel like it went pretty well. So everyone had a good time, it looked like. So. That's really cool. Yeah, and I actually picked up a piece of art of uh, these 3D glasses for our yeah. movie room. So, yeah, we'll always have a piece of art of Jeremy in our, hanging in our house. I'm stoked, man. It makes me feel good knowing my artwork is, like, hanging out in people's rooms, man. That's cool. By, by the way, you got to see this RTD team back here. This thing's awesome. Oh, yeah, look at this thing. And it is for sale. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me your money. I'll give you this. So. <laughs> yeah. He accepts cool. Venmo, so yeah, be sure Venmo, to check out. Venmo, yeah. Yep. And you got the, this Jaws boat down there and everything. This stuff's amazing. It's the Orca. Orca? The Orca. Oh, yeah. Right. To the Jaws fans out there, they know. We know. Well, Jeremy, it was nice to meet you in person. Thank you again for being on the show. You're always welcome back. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Best of luck to you after the con, and we'll see you again. Thank you guys very much. All right, guys. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks, man. And TRM. I was also CRM today. Awesome. There you go. Awesome. You want to do the quick word? Or... She's forcing us to. You don't have 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 to. Just a quick word. Just say what you've done, and we can but look for you. We can, we're just, we can look for you. Yeah, we're not going live. We're just kind of recording, and filling it'll in. Go live. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on in. I'm like, see, I'm already red again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good. You're good. Squeeze on in. <laughs> yeah, come on in, Don. Just say your name, Don. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, everyone. We got some special guests with us. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to everyone. Uh, I'm Joe Welling. And I'm uh, Edie. And I think you guys were on the show we watch. Uh, can you talk about your experience on there? We were background. I was a trooper. In the, she was Oceanside. It was amazing. Everybody was great. It was it was a fun experience. So can um, you explain like the scene you were in, or is it aired, or can we talk about it? Or so we were both in actually episode um, sixteen of season eleven. So I guess we can talk Not about it a little episode. bit. Yeah, it, it, is it, aired, it did right? air. Yeah, okay, yes, cool. it did. No spoilers. No spoilers. So I was actually part of Oceanside who got captured mm -hmm. by the Commonwealth Troopers here, and he was in the scene with me. I was cut out of that scene, though. <laughs> I was standing oh, right man. in front of her. I was like, my view of the scene was the view of the camera, basically. So you're just they off were, camera. Just, just off, off camera, yeah. Oh, but he was on, in Hilltop when they took over Hilltop. He was one of the troopers walking along if, um, if you look really closely with a magnifying glass, <laughs> I'm the trooper walking underneath the water tower. And then didn't you have another spot where you was near Sebastian? Yeah, that one's there too. 
that was when you were in the, um, police, in the police station. station. He was actually behind Sebastian looking at a file on the table. I walked from the wall, from the file cabinet behind Sebastian when he was talking to Daryl and sat down at the desk behind the two of them. It's about 10 seconds, if that. But you <laughs> did awesome. It's Here, so wait, awesome. Look, just, that's, that's oh, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> You'll so, recognize me. Reference. <laughs> you, you have that for reference. <laughs> yeah. Now, are you guys fans of the show? Are you fans? I am a huge fan. He has become a fan. Right. So when we moved up here from Florida last year, so um, I've always been a fan. I've watched it over and over. According to him, I've watched it about a thousand times, too, probably too. roughly. Um, she she watches the reruns every year. What do you do with the marathons? Yes, who doesn't, <laughs> right? I do too. From season one on every year. I get stuck at season four. I like go one to four and I kind of get stuck and start over again. So I started over again and I made it up to season nine. So I'm, at, I'm hanging at season nine right now. It's like when Rick's going, I can't go any further. That's about it. Yes. So did you ever think you'd be on your favorite show? No, not in a million years. That's so awesome. That is awesome. It is. It was, yeah. it was a great experience and everybody was super nice. Everybody. And what were you doing here at the con? I was talking to you guys earlier. What did... So we actually had a booth here, um, Iron Angel Creations with Liz. Okay. We were helping her out today. She's the one that makes all the cute little plushies of characters from the show. Awesome. Uh, she also does um, commission work. So if you have a favorite character, she is on Instagram. I don't know her handle. Hey, Liz. We can get it later and share if okay. she's right here. Yeah, definitely. Um, so she's on Instagram and she does commission work as well. So if you have a favorite character from any show. Right, awesome. Message her on Instagram, and she could probably get it out to you. I'll give you one more question. What was your highlight of the weekend? Good one. Mine was meeting Robert Hayes because I had met him on the streets of Sonoy, and I was talking to him, and he said, all I can tell you is I'm a new character on the show, and that because he had his mask on, oh. so I couldn't really right, see him. Yeah, yeah. So I took a picture with him. I took a selfie with him because he said, oh, I'm going to be on the show. No details. And then I met him here, and he actually autographed it. We took selfies here oh, with, the, with the photograph. So that was the best. Oh, and he remembered her. So Yeah, and he yeah, did. He remembered cool. me. So that was awesome. Yeah, that's so surreal. That's what's so cool about these conventions. You, you watch them week to week, and then now you get to mingle with them and, you know, chit-chat with them. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And everybody's kind. Everybody's awesome. Yeah. What was your highlight? Talking the tail. The guy that plays Sebastian, um, the day we filmed, and I, there was a scene where you walked down the hallway and uh, we repeated it several times. They were standing in the hallway. We stood there for a little bit. We went to break. When we came back, they actually took the time to learn my name. Wow. And wow. It, right? Who does that nowadays? And the, getting to talk to him out here, I told him how much that actually impressed me. It was kind of cool that somebody like that took the time to learn my name and to say hi and ask how I was doing and stuff. So that was cool. That's awesome. Well, thank you for taking a minute to yes. talk with us. It's so That's great to hear. Yes. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. Yes, we really appreciate it. Oh, thank not you. a problem. We had a good time. Yeah, awesome. Thanks. It was great. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. We just wanted to give a uh, shout out to the camp. Uh, what an awesome opportunity it is just to be here, help out, uh, you know, let us do a trivia and scavenger hunt. Yeah. Um, just thank you, Oscar and Casey and all the staff and security. Yeah, I appreciate everything with the tours and uh, the way y'all treat us. We really appreciate it. And thanks for having the Dead Truth here. We really, really, really pre appreciate it, guys. And I want to thank all the fans for participating in the scavenger hunt. We really appreciate all of you and all of our viewers. Yep. yep. Thank you, guys. And thanks for everyone for uh, hopefully you got uh, met us and got a picture and uh, got a dead truth uh, dead card from us. Oh, yeah. Yes, and stickers. Yeah, we just got stickers. So yeah, if you're still around the area, stop by and uh, pick one up from us. I'll still be here till tomorrow morning. So I'll be here tonight at the Hilton. So same with me. Different rooms. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to say about all that. All right, guys, we appreciate you. We really do. Thank you all. Bye. And a big shout out to our sponsors, Walking Dead Tours and Events, AutoWrapsPlus.com, Water Tower Tours, Abraham's Army, The Camp, Survive the Night, Horror Nation, and Walking Dead is freaking amazing. And we'd like to thank of our patrons for supporting the show. And if you would like to support the show, just go to patreon.com slash the dead truth. Right, ready?